I'm not sure what today is. It takes battery power to go back and look. Nothing long-winded anymore. I am out of power. I have three days to go. My tent is broken on me. None of my zippers work anymore. My tent fly is hanging open. Life sucks. First world problems, huh? All right, anyway, let's go do some night hiking. Oh, yeah, and my headlamp is fritzing out. For some reason, it turns on by itself. Now, that's what woke me up today, was my headlamp just turned on by itself. So I don't know how much power is in that thing. I know I only have 80% left in my phone because I plugged it in, and that's as full as it got. And I have three days to go. I use about 60% of my battery a day. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, let's go hiking. Well, evidently I can't go night hiking now either because this is what my headlamp is doing all by itself. I have no control over the buttons anymore. Yeah, awesome. <sighs> Everything is failing on me, man. Tent sucks. My mat sucks. I'm out of battery. My headlamp. I did drop my headlamp in the water a couple days ago. <sighs> but really? All right, anyway. I'm just going to sit here then. Well, my headlamp has stayed on for a few minutes. Well, 20 minutes, so I'm going to call it good. But it is so cold out here that even my guy lines are frozen. Got ice on the tent. Oh, shit, the tent's frozen in place. Awesome. Hey, what's his light doing on so early? I didn't wake him up. Or maybe I did. Okay, and we're off. Let's see how long my battery holds up and my headlamp. I do have a tiny flashlight on me just in case. I tested it out. It still works. But it uses a very small battery, so it's backup. I saw a red star coming up over the horizon. I was like, what's that? And I saw a few more because I've been taking my time. And it turns out it was Betelgeist. Battlegeist is a huge red star. Orion's shoulder. I like how silvery those are. <sighs> okay, less recording, man. Less talking. More walking. Okay, I've climbed a little pass. Well, at least I feel like I'm at the top of it. Hard to tell in the dark. Sun's about to come up. Another hour tops. I see stuff glowing on that other mountain in front of me. I'm guessing it's uh, patches of snow. Other than that, it's just black. <sighs> oh, this hasn't been easy. I'm struggling for breath. And I'm just mostly stressed out about battery. As dumb as that is. I'm not even stressed about food anymore. Battery takes priority. There's a red light way out there. It hurts. Never mind, it won't show up, but I see it. I never see anybody up in, in the dark. Weird. Huh, that dude right there knew exactly who I was. Um, and he told me the BC and Lucky are up over the next hill and they're still looking for us. They think we're ahead of them, so. I'm going to try to catch them and slow their roll, but yeah, we'll see, man. It looks like a big mountain. Oh, the very first spot of sunlight is hitting that mountain right now. I need to sit down and take a break. There's yet another pass in front of me. Doesn't look huge, but, you know, it's all uphill, blah, blah, blah. I'm just tired. So weak because I haven't been eating enough. So I know exactly what it is. Got to ration everything at this point. I'm running low on everything. Sunshine. Ooh, sunshine. That was abrupt. So I've done two passes and still haven't found those guys. So I mean, maybe they woke up early and decided to carry on trying to catch us. No idea. So they didn't camp around here. I, mean, I see a backpack over there. But that's not either one of theirs, I don't believe.
Sunshine is about to hit me, so I'm like, man, I am carrying around a lot of weight. And let's see what shape it is in. Is it still icy? Yeah, it's still just a bit of ice in there, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a bunch of crap. Uh, I'm going to be honest, man. I am sick of this trail. I'm going to have myself a little attitude adjustment. Maybe that'll help. But I am just sick of this trail. It's fucking cold and wet every day, everywhere, man. And now that I've technically gotten a triple crown because I filled in the sections I missed, I, I keep thinking, fuck, man, I should just quit. I should just quit. I am sick of this trail. I don't want to quit, but I want to quit all the same time. No, I, I, I don't want to quit. I don't. I just want this trail to stop sucking so much, man. Why do you have to be fucking so cold and wet every day, everywhere? Is it warm anywhere in America? I can't tell. I can't tell because it's freezing everywhere I go, man. I just want, oh, I don't know, I want a couple of a couple of weeks without ice falling on me, man. Just a couple of weeks. Fuck. Low on everything, though, man. Everything's falling apart on me. Just not having a good time. All the other trails, I was like, man, I don't want them to end. I want to stay out forever. This one, I'm like, man, I, I'm fucking sick of it. I hate this trail. Just my bad attitude. Let's see if I can change that. Many hours later, Red and, <clears throat> and Count show up. They got up about the time I got here when the sunlight hit. That's why I stopped. But they haven't seen BC or Lucky yet either. So we press on. Sunlight has helped improve my mood. It's still cold, but it's tolerable in the sunshine. Okay, crises averted. This is Hat Pass, I believe, is what this one's called. Does it look very intimidating, does it? There's more beyond it, though. That's just the first ridge. Second ridge doesn't look bad either. But we found BC and um, Lucky. They were only about a mile further from where I stopped. But luckily, Slim Jim, when I talked to him, I was like, hey, if you see him, tell him to slow their freaking roll. Um, so they just sat right there. But uh, yeah, it was exactly what we thought. They thought they were behind and they were rushing. They went like six miles beyond where we went yesterday, and they did it in the ice and snow. Kudos to them. Um, and then when I show up, BC's like, hey man, I hear you might be a little low on food. And I'm like, yeah, you know I am, I'll, I'll get by though. And he's like, well, maybe we can make a trade. And I was like, hey, actually, you know what's more important than food to me? Electricity. Because he's out of toilet paper. And toilet paper is very important when you don't have it. So I gave him half of what I have, and then I will use what I have sparingly. Uh, just in case he needs a little more before we get out. And maybe I need a little more electricity. Win-win. Nobody uses their phone as much as me. So, somebody should have some to spare. I climbed that this morning in the dark. Yes, I did. I failed in my goal. But, hey, uh, everything worked out in the end. I understand the stress. A feeling like you're behind everybody. <laughs> so you gotta like rush to catch up. And you know, curious and wondering and questions, questions. Yeah, I would have been cool to ease that stress for him. And technically I did via Slim Jim. He caught up to them and told them to slow their roll. So I appreciate you, Slim Jim. But I helped him find his, the people he was traveling with. So, yeah, you know, it, it all equals out in the end. Ah, so after the little ridge I could see, there's almost nothing left. See, I could see this stuff up here, so I thought, hey, very well could be more. So 
see the guys up here taking a break. I hear there's cell service up here. Not that I need it. There's only one person I really want to talk to. She's the only one that has, like, if she called, it would it would actually leave a, a message on my screen. Or she texts, or whatever. She's the only one that's allowed to get through. Not that she does, you know, I haven't talked to her in months. But just in case. But everybody else, muted. <sighs> Clouds are a little funny colored out there. That might be smoke. On the other side of the pass, looks a little different. There's trees. You know, that's the big change. <laughs> other than that, it's going to be a shit ton of boulders with trees growing out of them. Everything you see in front of you will be long behind me before we're done with this. Because you, know, you can only see like 20, 25 miles or so until the smoke. Oh, and we're probably headed into that. That looks bigger and scarier. Not that. This. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, figured out when I get there. According to the... Uh, the um, weather service because they had internet up there uh, Zero percent chance of rain today Almost none tomorrow the day after the day after tomorrow's supposed to get really windy So that's probably gonna suck because right now it's not really windy, but there's still really cold wind blowing on me So I hate to see what it's like when it's windy, but hey I'll deal with it when it comes Better than rain and snow though, man. He's not scared of me at all. Or are you just terrified? Thanks for posing though, buddy. Oh. Yeah, look at the mountains over there. Maybe that's the circuit of towers. Yeah, that looks very towery. And huts. Yeah, it looks pretty towery to me, too. There's supposed to be tons of beautiful lakes today. The sun is shining strong. No wind. You know, right conditions. I might just dip my toes. I realize I probably have not had a shower in three weeks, I'm thinking. It's been a minute since that trailer park back in, I think that was Montana, but I'm not positive. Could have been Idaho. I forget what state I'm in half the time. <clears throat> so yeah, I could use a little bit of washing. I mean, the rain did a good job on me. But, you know, I didn't get all my junks. Just as long as it's not cold. You know me. Another shallow but wide crossing. I'm actually taking the shoes off for this one because everything's dry at this point. Yeah, I got two bald eagles flying around. Playing with each other. See if I can find the other one. Oh, there we go.
Oh, it was like the 30th one we're out here. They don't cut down the trees. You just look for a little trail. It'll lead around it. People got horses through here, so half the time I'm just looking for horse prints. Yeah, there's no maintenance out here. It's just too far, I'm guessing. Here's some of the trees have been down so long that they're turning into like this stuff. And the trail is going around it, which I should have done up there. I'm going back up here. Oh yeah. Hopefully that's the last one for a while. At first I thought this tree broke right there and fell over, but no, when you follow it down, you see roots, which means it fell and just landed smack dab on that stump. And that lined up really well. I wonder if it drove that stump into the ground just a little bit further. <laughs> like a nail. Uh oh, I've lost the trail now. Hmm. Oh, maybe up here. This one's a lot more shallow, but way more wide. Oh, it's brisk. Oh, this is the nicest the trail has been today. It's pretty rough. We're not making many miles. We came in here anticipating 20s. Yeah, we can do 20 miles every day. We haven't even come close to 20 yet. They still seem to think that we'll be back at the van in just another two and a half days, I think it is. So the rest of today and two more days. I'm not as hopeful as they are. Well. I'm hopeful, but I don't think it's likely. Sand Point Lake. I guess that's where we're going. Oh, there's a very wide river running into it. Oh, this isn't the lake yet. No more walking. Another shallow water crossing. Right now I wish I just would have walked through the first one. But you know, I'm taking my shoes off for two. I gotta take my shoes off for the third one. Only makes sense. So we took a little break at the lake. We all jumped in, submerged ourselves squealed because it was cold but you know we haven't had showers in a couple weeks i'm not exactly sure how long it's been we did sit in the hot spring that kind of counts but since you get to use soap and you don't get to do your hair it doesn't really count either so that's when i was at that trailer park which feels to me like three weeks ago but i'm not even sure it hasn't been that long time moves different out here so it's confusing we're going to try to push on for another five or so, and that'll put us at 21 for the day. Hey, we finally broke the 20 barrier. And today wasn't super easy or anything, but it wasn't super hard. Tomorrow's going to be pretty rough. It's all mud. I've kept my shoes dry all day. How about that? I'm going up and over. There's a really sandy beach up there. For whatever reason, BC decided to go there and wait for us. We spent a good half hour plus getting clean, mixing some drinks. Mine's a really light one. I didn't bring much alcohol with me. These guys brought like two liters with them each. Seasoned. Impressive. They're willing to carry that weight too. <laughs> I brought three quarters of a liter, so I've just mixed a bunch of, well, then my first drink was pretty strong, and then since then it's just little ones, I'm just copping a little buzz.
a yeah, nice sandy beach. Uh, why is all the sand right here? I don't understand. We sure have come far today. Feels good. We need to do a 20 here and there through here. Come on, man. We did not bring enough food to do these low number days, but it's not like it's our fault. Weather related, terrain related, all sorts of stuff slowing us down. How did I end up on the Appalachian Trail? Oh, never mind, there's sunshine, or sky at least. Couldn't be that trail. Hey, there's that great white mountain. It ends. That's why I look more like a great white last time. Erosion, I'll blame it on erosion. That must be where I'm headed. That looks like a circuit of towers. I haven't seen the guys in a while, but the trail's very twisty turny. I just checked the map for like only my third time today. I'm gonna be using battery. It's gonna be taking videos, man. But it says I'm still on trail, so that's, that's good. Oh, it looks like the guys are gonna do a recap video with a cool background. That is a beautiful background, isn't it? Now I gotta stop and take a picture. We've been throwing a lot of water obstacles at us. Red recorded us doing one of the tricky ones. But my feet are still dry. I just sailed across those ones though. But I've got an advantage. I weigh almost nothing. These things can support me. And I can pole vault really far with them. I didn't have to on this one, but I've had to before. I kind of amazed myself how far I can throw myself with sticks. I'm just worried about the landing. You know, the ground isn't always obvious. Sometimes it's, you know, this. You don't know if there's a rock. So if you land on that, you can snap an ankle really easy with a backpack on. But I've been protecting my feet all day long. I'm gonna continue so I do not want to end with wet feet. This will be my first dry foot day in a minute. And I know I got whiny earlier today, having it rough, and boo-hoo, my feet are cold, and I might lose a toe, you know, boo-hoo. I do feel better, you know, you go through moods out here. <laughs> this is mostly a mental game. I'm way past the physical shit. It's about just keeping some sort of sanity, but keeping yourself on track enough to where you finish, but having enough fun to where you can handle this shit. This is not easy. I make it look easy and fun all the time, man. But, you know, this, this is some work. Just a job you can do drunk. With enough practice, what job can't you do drunk? I mean, really. I'm quite certain if if neurosurgeons had to take a piss test randomly, you'd pop them for all sorts of shit because they know the good drugs. But you go through a lot of mental shit out here, man. Ups and downs. I have mostly ups because that's, you know, that's just how I'm made, man. I've been through enough downs in life to where generally the rigors of the trail aren't enough to get me down. But man, I've just been in pain for so long. My toes feel great today. 
I'm getting a weird delight out of tying my shoes. And normally when I tie them, all this brown liquid comes out of them because um, they're always wet. And all day today, they've just been tying like normal shoes. Yeah, nice try. Not even a nice, I don't even give any props for that. You can't get my feet wet. Try as you will, Trail. Let's push make it rain on me. Got a decent sunset going on. We're playing some bocce ball right now. Count lost last night. It's the first time I've ever seen him lose and have to carry the balls. He's not happy about it, wanted to get rid of them, so he made us play. Baby food.